Good day everyone, I am Mamela Pagliato. So now I will be showing you my teaching demonstration in physical education and health subject. So this is my lesson plan. Please all stand for the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning class! How are you today? Yeah, doing great? Doing happy? Yes, I see you in your faces that you are all doing good. So, for now, please all sit down because I will be checking your attendance so that I can give you a 10 points. And to those who are late, they are got zero. Sit properly. Okay. Aquamarine, percent. Meros, percent. Millville, percent. Bryza, Cindy, Janeline, Irene. Okay. Very good. No one is absent from the class. Okay, so I will give it, all of you I will give 10 points because no one is upset and no one is late. So very good. Okay, sit properly. Mary Rose, can you share to the class what was our topic last meeting? Okay, very good. Our topic last meeting is all about nutrition. So now, who can give me a glimpse what is a nutrition all about? Cindy. Yes, nutrition is about eating a healthy and a balanced diet. Yeah, as I've noticed, you are doing healthy Sunday. Keep it up. So, how to maintain healthy ovary? Okay. Eat a variety of nutrients rich food. And especially, do not skip meal milk. Yes, do not skip meals and do not eliminate certain food. And above all, Rosa, yes. Drink and plenty of water and be active always. Yes, very good. That's why I love when I am here in our subject because all of my students are all participated. So that's why I love you guys. So why is it important to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Meal bill. Okay, you're very much correct. It is important to maintain healthy because to have, as what Milville said earlier, to have a healthy lifestyle and to be holistically healthy. Now, who can give me an idea what is malnourished? Okay, Brysa. Yes, malnourished is talking about the undernourished or the overnourished. So now, to understand what is malnutrition, I will be asking three participants here in front. This class, participate in our class because those students who will participate, I will give some points. Okay, very good that you will volunteer. Melvin, please come here in front. Who else? Okay, Bryce. Last one, I need last one. Okay, Cindy, please come forward. Okay, now, class. What have you noticed of your classmates standing here in front? What have you noticed? 
What have you noticed with Milbill? What have you noticed with Cindy? And what have you noticed with Raisa? Okay, first, what have you noticed with Cindy? Okay, you're correct. Cindy is fat. Why? Brysa is thin. And how can you describe Cindy? Yes, Cindy is not fat and she is thin because Cindy is doing her healthy habit. So now, Miss Cindy, you can now take your seat. Thank you. So, class, the remaining two pupils here in front, they are fat and thin. So, meaning they are not doing their healthy habit because they are example of malnutrition. Thank you for your time. You can now take your seats. So, class, malnutrition is a condition that develops when the body is deprived of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. It needs to maintain healthy issues and organ function. It's picture A, which is a healthy or not healthy. So, sorry, sorry. Please observe it clearly, class, because I will be asking you one by one what have you noticed in the picture A and the picture B because afterwards, I will be giving a long quiz. So, class, what have you noticed in picture A? A boomerang? Yes, you are very much very good. Picture A represents or show that they are it is a healthy food. Very good. And Mary Rose, what have you noticed in the picture B? Yes, very good. These are an example of and healthy food. Class, please. can you point? Or can you tell in the class what you have noticed in the picture A? Okay, very good. Avocado, vegetables, beans, and other kinds of healthy food. Very good. Keep it up, Melville. Now, Bryson, what have you noticed in picture B? Yes, picture B shows a and healthy food, which is candies, chocolates, soft drinks, and many more that is not a health us. You will participate in my discussion. To those who will participate in my discussion, I will be given a reward afterwards. So now, Mary Rose, do you want to become a malnourished? Yes, no one to become a malnourished. And which among this two picture, the picture A and the picture B, would like to eat? Cyril, what would you like to eat among these two picture here I am presenting in the front? Yes, you are choosing a healthy food. Why you are choosing a healthy food, Cyril? And why is it not unhealthy? Yes, to become or to avoid a malnutrition and to become or to be more active. Very good, Cyril. And far from disease. Very good. So, who among you here can give an example of a healthy food? Bryson? Shampoos, soft drinks. 
things. Ice cream. Yes. All those examples are belong in unhealthy food. What can we do to lessen malnourished or malnutrition children? Yes, to educate about the awareness of being a malnourished. So class, let's have a short review because at as what I have said earlier that I will be giving you a long quiz. So before we are before we give before I will give you the long quiz, let's do have a short review so that you have the idea of the correct answer. So what is malnutrition? A pulmonary? Yes. Malnutrition is a condition that results from eating a healthy diet which does not supply a healthy amount of one or nutrients. Okay, so far for today's activity, in a short size of bad paper, I will be instructing you to make a dietary plan in making a dietary plan first you must write above in a school oh you must write a name grade and date for today then Below, you write the days, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And this side, you write the breakfast, lunch, dinner. Because in making a dietary plan, example, you write Sunday for your because you are writing you're writing in a Sunday day so Sunday evening so your plan to eat in a Sunday your dinner is a baked sweet potato sugar salt peas and apple pie you write here oh under the Sunday and so on. You write it in Sunday to Saturday. So, after doing that, I will be giving you uh, enough time. 20 minutes, I think, is enough for you to make a dietary plan. So, I will be giving 20 minutes to make this dietary plan because as what I have said, we have to take a long quiz after. So, time starts now. Please avoid talking so that you can focus what you are doing. If you have questions, you are friendly to approach me. You are fairly come in the front so that I will answer all your questions. Yes, Mary Rose. Short bank paper, Iha. You are remaining time, 10 minutes. Okay. Yes. Yes, Cindy. I have noticed that you are doing your healthy habits every day. Oh, time's up. Pass. Pass 
your work in the front so that we will start our long feet. Okay, very good. Mary Rose are doing woo! so very interesting. I am expecting you guys that you right here you right here in your activity that you eat that on that day. I am hoping that you will do that in your home so that you become a healthy person and to avoid disease. So now please so now please get one whole sheet of paper so that we can formally start our long quiz. Okay, to those students who have papers, please give your classmates. Okay, write your name in your answer sheet so that you have a score. Number your paper and one up to forty. Yes, one up to forty, Milbe. Because I will telling you earlier that we have a long quiz. So I will be dictating the questions. Then you must listen because I will be reading the question twice only so that you will read or you will listen carefully avoid noisy okay number one number two number three number twenty number twenty one Last number, number 40. Okay. Pants up. All pants up. Pants down. Okay. Pass all your answer sheets in front of you. Okay. All papers here. Okay. So now giving you an activity in doing the activity you will have a, you you can have a recycle what's available in your bag or in your table you can use it because our activity for today is doing a brochure class you must Make a brochure. So you have the idea what's the design you are choosing. So here is just an example. This is just an example to make you to make brochure. So it's up to you plus what you are going to design but your brochure must and connected with malnutrition okay i will be giving 15 minutes in doing that as i know that each one of you have a talent so be creative in doing a brochure because i will be giving you more much points if you are doing good or yeah have a creative in doing a brochure okay understand okay very good if you are understand okay so time starts now <laughs> 